my challenge would be to find more quiet time. If you don't have any, then try five minutes. If you already are doing something like meditating or doing something that quiets your mind, then increase it by five minutes. Find more quiet time or have more than one session where you're being quiet. Because what that's going to do is, and most people have trouble with it, so I'll give you a hint on how to do that. When you get quiet, the chattering monkeys get busy in your brain. <laughs> yes, they do. They just go nuts. The way to handle that is to thank them. I have a balloon surround them mm -hmm. and let them float away. Mm. Forgive yourself for having chattering monkeys. Just go back once you've surrounded them or wh however you dismiss them. First, you got to thank them or they won't go away. <laughs> so, but however you dismiss them, come back to try to be, to silence your mind. Mm -hmm. Not, no, that sounds like you're trying to force it. Forcing won't work. No. To feel silence in your mind, to just have, if it's two seconds, that's a tiny little moment, but it'll make a difference. Yes. Just in, try to increase that. And what you'll find is your own divinity. You'll find why you were put on this earth. You will find where your gifts are, what is important to you to share. I started to stop with important to you, but if, who cares what's important to you? What's important to you, we're all put here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. We all have something that is important for us to put out into the world or you wouldn't have been born. So what is important for you to share? Mm -hmm. Use those silent moments to learn that.